Hey everybody, I'm here in an area of Istanbul. It's called Katakui. I just came here. The reason why is because I left out of the ho hostel because they were gassing me. Well, they weren't gassing me out. They were electrocuting me with uh, soft currents. And what they do is usually when they do things that they think we don't notice, they want to let us know when, they're, when they feel like they've won and they feel like we haven't picked up on it. So what they do is they send uh, an announcement over on YouTube and the announcement that they've been sending over lately has been one about um, a m single mother with a son and the son uh, having heart failure and dying and the mother uh, crying and saying, I don't know how much longer I have with my son. And they did the same announcement about three, uh, well, about a week and a half ago. And uh, they want to keep me inside the hostel. And as you can see, the police officers, they know what they're doing. And that's why they're looking at me. They already know, you know, look for a black guy. This is a sample. There are hardly any black people that look like me. There are, there are enough black people here, but there are, people automatically know where to look when they're looking for me. But the point I'm trying to make is that I got here. And you can see that this car is parked out. And then across the street, you can see that one is parked out. It's a Sunday night. What are people doing? Tomorrow's work. You know, there are about three parked out. If you go down here, kind of, let me go across here. There were about two more. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to be somewhat discreet so that it's not picked up and noticed. But the other ones that were over here, they're no longer over here. So I don't know where they went. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I had to get out for my safety because I was being gassed out a whole bunch. Not gassed out. You get the picture electrocuted. And, um, yeah, it, it's not good to stay inside indoors when you're a targeted individual and they're doing this stuff to you. They follow me everywhere I go. Oh, if you can look up ahead, you can kind of see another light to the right. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see a light blinking down there. But yeah, they're doing this stuff, but you know what? I'm going to tell God, tell God about it, because he's the only one who could help. I've given up on him a million times a million, but there are certain times where I just pick up where I left off and remember that he's the only help in this situation, and then that's how I bounce back in order to pray and to get things accomplished. And when I get angry enough, I'll send out one prayer. And that one prayer will be strong enough to give me some results in the supernatural and also the natural. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Because there is no reason that innocent people should be ruined and that their vibrations should be lowered because of this crazy stuff that they never signed up for. The people that are doing this to us, they can never survive if this stuff were happening in their own lives. Because they're not strong enough. That's why they're the perfect recruits to carry out this BS that's going on.